Lipscomb comes from behind to win here today in the opening game of a three-game series with Bellarmine and with me, the player of the game, as I'm joined here by Chris Bachelor. And Chris, this is one of those games where the opponent got 14 strikeouts and your team still gets 11 hits and you win this ball game. I think it definitely comes down to situational hitting. Like we were, you know, we got the hits at the right time. We put runs up when we needed to, and we had some quality at bats late in the game. Early on, we kind of started out slow, and you know, we just weren't feeling it. And then, you know, we, we were able to break through. Their first guy was good. Got to tip our hats to him, but uh, we were able to get through to him there in the fourth or fifth, and we were able to break it open and get going. Well, you're the main person behind that. You go four for five today, and you get the double that opened it up and drove in the four. We got the four runs that inning. And uh, how important is it then to have momentum? I think it switched to the Bisons at that time. Right. We, we talk about <clears throat> you're bringing the energy every day, but you got to have something to ignite the energy, get everybody going. And I was just happy to, you know, put us up get us or get us on the board right there and get us some energy in the dugout. And, you know, you can't you can't fake it. you gotta you got to make it. So. Well, after having a game like that today where you get the four hits and now you got two more games with them, does that all of a sudden put a target on your back? I hope so. Bring it. Let's go. <laughs> I want to bring his best stuff at me. I don't, I'm good. You always want to see the best stuff, and that's a great attitude to have and uh, having this type of attitude. And how important is it now for this team to have such a come-from-behind win in this opening game? You know, we, we've been, you know, we're not playing up to our ability right now, and we all know that, and we're looking for something to get us going, and I think this is the best thing possible for us to get going right here. You know, we had a great second half of the game. We're just going to try to carry it into tomorrow. Well, congratulations for a great game today and the come from high win. This has got to be big for this team. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Chris. Chris Basher with us today, the first baseman for the Bisons and the redshirt junior out of Richmond Hill, Georgia. And he ends up today four of five. Joining us now, the head coach for the Bisons, Jeff Forehand. Coach, you spot them seven runs, then you come back and win it nine to seven. Pretty exciting, but uh, pretty, uh, you know, interesting in the first four innings. I just told him after the game, I, I don't feel like we were – we were prepared out of the gate, which that's odd. I don't understand that. But I thought Scott pitched okay. I mean, we made a couple of bad plays early in the in those four innings and, you know, cost him some runs early. He gave up a homer. But, again, I thought he pitched okay um, and he probably could have taken us a little bit further had we been prepared as a team to, to get out of the shoot a little bit better. It looked like the Knights took advantage of everything early on. They take advantage of a couple of wild pitches, an error, a couple of things, and they score runs every opportunity they had. Absolutely. And with them doing that and their starter on the mound who was really really good and um, fortunately you know I don't know what what happened at the end why he came out of there but you know he came out after having 12 strikeouts in five innings that was a pretty good outing and um, but you know for us you know we had that one strikeout and the ball got away from the catcher and like you said when you put up runs in in the first four innings it's really difficult to to come back but I was really proud of our team after playing four bad innings we played four and a half pretty good at the end. How often do you have a team that gets 11 hits but they also strike out 14 times? It's it's different. It's just it's odd. But you know, I I tip my cap tonight. Their uh, their first guy was 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 a real deal tonight. And um, you know, he struck us out. You know, 12 of those 14. But you know, I dwell on. I'm I'm gonna. I told them on the positive end. Our last four offensive innings were really good. And, and you know, Chris just had a you know big big uh, two out double, three run double, and then a and then a two out uh, two run double or single as well. So again. He did a great job getting us back in the game. And then, you know, at the end, us trying to execute what we did on offense at the end was really good. I thought the key play was Bertolani when he hit the ball to the shortstop, and they don't get the force at second to set up what happened then with Bachelor's big hit. Well, that's Haddon Adams. I mean, that's what – he's the heartbeat of our team. And, you know, we talk about it all the time. When you're on first base and in that situation, your only job is to beat that ground ball to second base. It doesn't happen all the time, but his effort on that play was really good. And I also can say – Tiger Borum getting down the line and beating that ground ball to first was another big, uh, a, a big play for us that kept the inning going. Well, those were big plays, and I think you get great relief pitching here today. You come from behind, you got some momentum now. What you got to do is shut the door in game two tomorrow. Absolutely, we give the ball back to Max, and Max has pitched. Uh, he's pitched well. Um, his last several outings, we just hadn't been, you know, last weekend we didn't support him well enough, but he's pitched really well, looking forward to him getting the ball and, you know, just trying to, like you said, trying to build on this win and see if we can get to keep that momentum going. All right, thank you, Coach Forehand. Bison's come from behind. They were down by seven, come back and win it nine to seven. And with the win today, they're going to get set for the second game of this series against Bellarmine. It'll be tomorrow, Friday, 
and it will start at 4 o'clock. It'll all be on ESPN Plus, and you can keep up with everything happening with Bison Baseball at LipscombSports.com.